much strength or expand on proportion to one's courage. Today, I'm with someone who has expanded her boundaries and tasted her adventures. This is the podcast series brought to you by Isaac Kindrahona and I am the host of this session, Amisha Halmate. Today, we have a special guest. This is Eliza Omanin and she's from all the way from Germany to join hands with Isaac in the Project Seashore. Project Seashore is all about protecting ecosystems and life in coastal areas and sea. Let's move on to the big part of this interview. Hello there, Lisa. How are you feeling? I'm feeling great today. The weather is perfect. Well, that's nice to hear. Now let's move on to the big talk. <laughs> tell me, um, tell us a bit about yourself or where you're from and your background, your education and everything. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, my name is Elisa. I'm 25 years old. I turned 25 here in Sri Lanka, so I had a very oh nice God. party. <laughs> Happy belated birthday. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Yeah, I studied general management in Germany for three years in a um, dual system. That means I worked and I studied at the same time. Um, yeah, because I didn't want to work straight away after finishing my study, um, because my company offered me a 10 years contract. I decided to quit and do something for me and also something that has an impact on the world and that's, um, yeah. Before I came here to Sri Lanka, I already did an eight-week um, into skill project in Ghana where I worked with children with special needs. Damn, that's interesting. So tell me, how do you get to know about Isaac and why did you think of volunteering? Isaac in Aachen, my study town, is a very big thing, so it's very common and I heard about it from a friend. Tell me, why Project Seashell? So the first project I did was a social project. I wanted my second project to be more with an environmental focus. And I feel very connected to the sea because of my mom and I also have a driver's license. You have been in Sri Lanka for four weeks. Yes. And I think you have done a pretty much big work here. And we all would love to hear about that. What did you do here and how was your experience back here? Yeah, I did really a lot uh, during my stay here. Um, I did some beach cleanups, mangrove planting. We had an interview with a um, lecturer at the University of Uruguay that was very interesting. I worked at a sea turtle hatchery. Very nice task to do around the marine ecosystem. So it's very interesting to get to know all of this and also to get in touch with the local people and talk with them about uh, the development of the marine ecosystems here in Sri Lanka. That's really cool because I like that we have several tasks and um, topics we want to take care of and not only this one focus. And now the project Seashell. Talking about the project, tell us what sustainable goals are achieved from this project. What is the importance of this project? In my opinion, it's very important that also me and also the other EPs as Europeans see the need of what we need to do. Of course, in Germany, it's a whole other, whole different environment we are living in. And we don't actually see the need, but when we enter the beaches here and see all the plastic and all the damage that has been made by people to the nature, it gets pretty clear what we have to do. I think it's super important to collect all these experiences and share them with the other people. So, uh... I think uh, you gain a lot of experience and uh, you are aware of what's happening here. And what are your plans to take this message to the world? I'm not lying when I say that I really want to focus on um, sustainability in my future. So I'm uh, thinking of doing a master's in environmental management. Um, I already have some leadership experience due to my work. I really want to use this all and my experience from here to build my own business to work and help or at least work in a company who is really focused on sustainability and taking care of the ocean and marine ecosystems. Well, I wish you all the best because you are having some great targets. So that was all about your project and its impact and everything. Uh, let's move on to some casual talk. What was your experience in Sri Lanka? Did you like it? Did you like our country? <laughs> no, it? <laughs> no, it was uh, the greatest experience ever, really. Um, I enjoyed it so much. I met some super nice people here, also Sri Lanka, but also the other EPs. I made some really great friends, and I'm super happy with that. 
We traveled every week and we saw the greatest places ever. We're very lucky with everything we did. And Sri Lanka will stay in my heart forever, for sure. And I really want to come back one day with my parents or my kids or my siblings. Tell us about your experience with Isaac Rahuna because I guess it would be very useful for any other volunteers who are willing to volunteer with us in the future. I had the warmest welcome ever, so that was really nice. You, and you can always contact people and they are always answering and um, you're never alone here in this country. So that's really good. Um, but yeah, all in all, it was a very nice experience and I'm super glad um, we could do all of this. Tell me, uh, do you have anything to tell about to the young volunteers who are willing to volunteer and take part in the future? Um, just one thing, just do it. Because not only that you do something good for the world, but also for yourself and you meet the greatest people and it will be an experience you will carry. There's not one thing that comes up to my mind which is against volunteering. Then I'll just move on to some quick questions to spice it up because we have been doing the big talk now. <laughs> and favorite artist? Um, Frank Ocean. Then, uh, what's your favorite dish in Sri Lanka? Definitely curry or chicken biryani. I love dal, of course. Then always those pineapple or cucumber salads to the side, jackfruit. Is the caramel caramelized onions and figs? And, oh, just everything. I love to try the new things. And banana curry, oh, mango <laughs> curry, oh my God. <laughs> Any incident? Uh, it any funny incident or something happened to you here? A lot of funny incidents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I think back in Sri Lanka, I, I think I'm always smiling the whole time. But we um, went for the visa extension, uh, and Sam and I were fooling around with a ball, and then he was throwing the ball and hit a lamp. <laughs> oh my god! Down, and everyone stared, and we were like, Whoo! <laughs> and I couldn't help myself. It was too funny. Which part of Sri Lanka do you love most? Is it hill country or the causes? Oh, that's the hardest question ever. I think I'm going for the hills because the landscape is so beautiful. It's just breathtaking. We were on top of Horton Plains and um, also Lion's Rock and you could just see, look around in 360 degrees and it's so beautiful. I can't help myself. Describe your experience here in two words. Um, breathtaking and memorable. What is your favorite thing however? Like uh, anything sounded funny in your mouth? <laughs> uh, Bonava, <laughs> of course. <laughs> we had some very nice drinking evenings with some Sri Lankan people, so it was always Bonava. <laughs> um, but of course, duty is very important and I love the meaning of Ayu Boban. How was your experience with Isaac Do you like us? I love all of you for, especially, I have to point it out, strength of women in Isaac and Rahuna. I really? love it. It's so impressive. I love boss ladies and I love the power of women and I'm always supporting women. So, How was your experience with other EPs? Um, I would say we are all super close friends now and uh, we are already planning on meeting each other again. It's so nice how those experiences can build up friendships and I'm really grateful for that. Great interview. This was a We had a really nice chat, right? Yeah. On the scale of 1 to 10? 10. Thank you. Yeah, 10. It was fun, right? It was the funniest vodkas ever. <laughs> <laughs> and then, our final word. Do you have to tell anything to us, to Isaac or to any young volunteer or anyone who's looked watching this podcast or podcast? Anything. I really just want everybody to be aware of his or her environments and keep your eyes open for things who needs help or support. Be aware, don't be selfish, but uh, selfless and help other people and the nature and animals and plants because we want to live for the, on this planet for a while and always don't just think of yourself, but also what you want your kids to be in the future. And um, yeah, let's think. I think all I want to say. Yes, I think we all should think twice or more than twice about that, the message she gave, because she gained a lot from here. Anyway, 
it was really nice to having this interview with you. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, and too. thank you for coming to Sri Lanka, taking part with Isaac Bruna and taking part in this project. Yeah, thank you for it giving me really this nice opportunity. Thank you. Hi, Bob. Hi, Bob.